H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Test for 1, 2 and let me test. So it's giving for 2. Let me give 10 what it will tell here. So if I execute this, I'm not seeing any records. So that means in the UI, so when the person clicks here, so let's go to this one. So when the person enters here 10, and, and clicks on search from the database so this will call your stored processor for that stored processor we will pass this parameter 10 and that will not return any records so you will hear you will see no records found because or because we don't have employee data in the in the stored database and your stored processor get employee details by ID will not return any data is it making sense everyone is it clear what is the purpose of stored processors okay so not only uh, not only blindly uh, like blindly inserting or updating or uh, deleting the records even you can have your own logic inside the store results so you can have if else conditions or lot of things you can have okay so anyway so that uh, for example mm, let me show you one thing for example if if the employee ID uh, which you are trying to insert is already there in the database okay so in that case what you can do you know uh, you don't want to insert duplicate employee IDs, right so imagine from the UI uh, you, you are calling the screen say for example here the person uh, who is entering save he is trying to give the same employee ID which is already there so ideally you should not do it so you can do some validations in in store preserve so let's try to do let's see how we can do it so now let's go back to this store preserve uh, insert okay this is the one so instead of create I need to make it now into alter because I'm altering the store preserve so I'll change it to alter and let's have the same name here so what I need to do is I need to check whether the employee is already there in the database or not right so so now uh, let me uh, let me uh, declare a simple uh, uh, query so declare declare at the rate uh, at the rate record count okay and then uh, select at the rate record count is equal to count star from employee where from employee where employee ID is equal to at the rate employee ID okay so if the record is already there in the database say for example this employee ID is already there in the database what will be this count value what will be this record count value see I declared a temporary variable so declare uh, integer so I declared a variable temporary variable record count integer now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do select record count equal to count star I'm getting count star value into record count from employee where employee ID equal to employee this parameter so so if the employee ID which you are passing is already there in the table employee it this count record count value will be greater than zero correct see see now if I search for if I say for example I search here select count star from employee where employee ID equal to say for example I'm giving 7 so let me execute this so if the record is already there it will give me 1 so that count value is 1 say for example by mistake I entered a record 3 2 times so if I execute this I have a record count 2 
so if the if the count star is giving you more than zero do you want to insert again do you want to insert the record employee id again if the count is giving more than one so you should not insert if the uh, that means that employee id is already there so you should not insert so so let's go to the store preserve here and then write a condition here if if at the rate record count greater than zero if at the rate record count is greater than zero uh, begin end so or you can simply put if the at the rate uh, record count equal to zero if it is only equal to zero then only you have to you have to copy this you have to insert this control C so it's not being it's begin and let me paste it and let me remove this okay so now I have added some if condition here well and good so so just give some indentation so that people will understand so we have uh, selected this record count also please add the comments appropriately so here uh, you can add comments in SQL Server the way you add you need to add comments is like this minus minus and here you, you can write here this temporary variable like this add some appropriate comments this temp variable is used to check if the employee ID is present or not okay so so that way you can increase the readability of store preserve so I have written even thousand lines of uh, store preserve where we have thousand lines or more than thousand lines of store preserve recently uh, six months back okay so so if you don't add comments it will be really difficult to understand so now now is it making sense to everyone so this one I'm just checking whether the employee is there and if the count is zero then only I'm inserting otherwise I'll, I'm not inserting the data so let me execute this now let's try to see whether uh, whether it will insert duplicate records or not previously when I entered three employee three it inserted so again let's check now so I'll go back here so let me give again seven A B C D so let me execute this so it's it's not telling any commands so even so let me try to execute three times so I'm going to execute once two three times and let's see whether it's inserted or not so you will see only once so let me put here eight and uh, and let me put let me execute this uh, three times one two three for the first time you got one record inserted did you notice it everyone let me give nine here and if I execute this you can see one rows affected but when I am executing again when I'm executing again it's not showing any row affected see now if I do select star from employee it's only inserting only once so that is the use of writing some logic in store preserves so is it clear everyone so what I mean to say is in the store preserve you not only write uh, insert statements or delete statements you can even write some logic like this you can write some logic also like this and one point to note here is in in if statement we don't use two equals like how we use in C sharp we use only one equal to please keep that in mind we use only one equal to in in okay so assignment for today is you have to create a table employee and you have to write store preserve to insert employee data and get employee data by ID so that uh, the columns you need to have is three columns so I'm going to ping this three columns so so you have to create a uh, stored preserves for inserting employee data one stored preserve and you have to create another stored preserve for getting employee data from the table based from the table based on employee ID is it clear is the assignment clear everyone please ping me in the chat window if it's clear okay so I'll just tell so the assignment which I'm giving uh, which I'm telling today is I have just pinged the three uh, columns employee ID first name see when you're creating a table don't give at the rate symbol I repeat again when you're creating a table like this for example when you're creating a table create table 
EMPL employee say for example line 99 so here you should not give at the rate symbol at the rate employee ID integer you should not give at the rate symbol is only required uh, when you are uh, passing parameters or when you are declaring variables in stored results like this okay so the assignment is you have to write the same stored preserve insert stored preserve and you have to write uh, get employee stored preserve that is assignment okay since now we are doing fourth class uh, uh, I think I will send all the recordings to H2K but uh, after you send the assignment I will send it to now uh, the recordings will be updated okay so any questions here is it clear what is the purpose of stored preserves and how to test stored, pre stored preserves? Please ping me in the chat window if you are clear. Yeah, okay, so Sharmila has a question, so let's unmute uh, her. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Sharmila. So, this begin and end statements are only use it in stored procedures or can we use it anywhere if you use if condition or okay any other condition good point so if you are using anywhere in the if condition so it's a good practice to use begin and end yeah it is same like flower brackets you use in um, c sharp programming we don't have any uh, begin and end for i mean flower brackets in sql so we have to use begin and end yes it's only in sql server um, not only uh, not only in stored preserves you can use anywhere when you are writing some group of transactions I mean multiple lines so without this these statements that query doesn't work if it is only one statement it will work but if you are more than one statement how you will uh, how you will know that that belongs to if condition say for example uh, say for example I have three inserts okay so now I have an if condition here okay and then um, and then I have three insert statements like this so how do you know that say say like this I have how do you know now if the condition is satisfied then on then which uh, how many inserts you have to do so now you don't have a way right so so do you think if this condition satisfies only one insert should happen or two all the three inserts should happen how do you know it but the statement is same right which statement? value the insert into employee values in when you create a table and insert into uh, values then you are giving the values so that we have to give multiple insert uh, no 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 my question is uh, no no uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, my question here is imagine you have an if condition okay okay now after this if condition say for example there is some address table or say some logic is there some logic is there uh, with which should happen only if this if condition is satisfied so some logic one uh, or some logic two mm -hmm. now how you will know that if uh, if this condition is satisfied say for example record count is zero now okay. how do you know that if if these three statements I'm not writing the logic here but I've just added a comment okay. how do you know that if mm -hmm. these three statements are inside this if condition or only one statement okay. only one statement is there inside this if condition so if you want only one statement to be there inside if condition so we normally put like this so begin and and you'll put like this here end so now SQL server will understand like okay when this condition satisfied only these things should happen and this logic should normally execute after this if condition and if you want all the three to be inside if condition what you can do is okay you can do like this uh, uh, sorry let me put here control Z so here like this so now your SQL so you can understand like okay if this condition satisfied I need I need to execute this three this three that okay. is how we need to add begin and end otherwise you will not know which statements to be executed uh, based on this condition is it making sense okay. yeah I don't see solid okay uh, <laughs> okay like uh, if if the condition is satisfied it has to follow the next condition has to execute right 
correct even if you do not give begin and end correct see if the condition is satisfied you will execute uh, uh you will execute this three right yeah now what is the difference between these two so let me write some other logic here so let me write this i have one if conditions like this and in other stored preserver i have an if condition like this okay can you tell now what is the difference between this if condition and this if condition how many if this condition is satisfied how many statements are executed here three statements three statements right and if the condition mm -hmm. is not satisfied how many statements are executed here let's put here logic not satisfied so uh, let's put here one more logic so logic 3 and let me put here one more thing called okay so now uh, question uh, here is if this condition is satisfied how many uh, how many uh, uh, statements will be executed three statements no including this one if the condition is satisfied this will also work right uh, because that after is after the end correct but overall if you consider total total code i'm asking mm -hmm. about total code if this condition is satisfied how many uh, so this is your this is one logic so let me remove this insert now okay so this is how we have now so and delete yeah now we have this code snippets total so here let me ask mm -hmm. again so if this condition is satisfied overall for this code piece how many logics will be work how, how many logics will happen i think oh, logic 1 and 2 because after end statement it goes to the logic 3 but we don't know what is that logic whether it is belongs to if condition or not so logic. even if it doesn't belongs to if condition anyway it's there mm -hmm. after this uh, after this if condition right so that will work that will be executed. so like the 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 logic 3 is out of the if condition right but out of the if loop. okay so let me let me go back to visual studio okay but even if it is outside if condition but still that's a part of this code right okay okay let me let me put this way how about others everyone um, did you guys understand what is the use of begin and end okay okay so let me i think here only i'll i'll put some other example so here uh, i'm going to put print 1 and i'm going to put here print 2 and i'm going to put here print 3 now if i execute this total code how many uh, uh, what do i see if i execute this th th total code i'll see 1 2 or 1 2 3 or or only 3 One, two, three. Why three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, just we are printing the. So okay, let me put here. Uh, uh, declare. Declare at the rate record count. I need to declare this variable. Okay. And I'm assigning a uh, set at the rate record count is equal to zero. Okay. okay. So now, how many how many prints I will see now? Three. One, two, One, three. One, two, three. So let me execute this. I am seeing one, two, three. Okay, perfect. Now, if I don't have begin and end, now how many I will see when I execute this? I think still you get one, two, three. Any other answers? Right. Now also I will see one, two, three. Okay. Well and good. now if i put like this one okay so now let me copy this and now let me paste it here and now i am going to put here begin and let me put here end now everyone please tell me if i execute this how many i will see now if i execute this how many records i will see how many prints i will see no records no here for this if condition not this three statements will belong only this statement with it will belong to if condition see now if i execute this 
I am only seeing 2 and 3. Because your SQL server will understand like okay this belongs to this print one only belongs to this if. If you have more than one statement to that belongs to if condition you have to use begin and end. So that you will tell that okay all this belongs to if condition. Is it making so after print one statement it works as a else statement? Not else statement. It works like a normal flow. Not else. See this if So like in general if else condition. No no not else. Okay. If you want else again you have to write else begin and end. So if this if condition is over, it will work like normal flow. How about others? Everyone has understood? Please ping me in the chat window if uh, you guys understood this. Anyone? Anyone in the class? Understood the difference between this and this? It's straightforward, right? So whenever you have uh, more than one statement to be executed, if a condition is satisfied, please use begin and end like how I used to use, we used to use in C sharp. So for example file uh, new project. In C sharp we used to use uh, flower brackets, right? The same way you have to use uh, uh, begin and end in SQL Server. It's very simple. So let me show you one thing. Oh my god, it's got disconnected. Hello? Yes, 